Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Brandon Street Wholesale and the Garcia Group. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, we're creating a garden basket and filling it with puppies made of carnations. So for our project, let's talk about our basket first. In the basket, I have four blocks of foam. I took my flower foam and I soaked it in water that has flower nutrient in it. That way, it's gonna be great for my flowers. I stacked two blocks on top of two more blocks. So I've got a nice big mass inside the middle of this. To hold them together, I just used wood picks and I drive them down at opposing angles. So I did one on each corner and then two across the middle. And then I simply cut those off. That holds those four blocks together nice and stable. I've got plenty of room around the outside to add more water too. So the first thing we wanna do is establish where our puppies are gonna go. And today, we're gonna to make our puppies out of white carnations. As a kid, we used to make poodle mums all the time. Today, we're gonna to make them look like two puppies that are kind of up on the side of the basket. So we're gonna create those. First step, of course, is to create the legs. So we're gonna have one puppy and his foot's gonna be hanging over the side. His other foot would probably be about there. Then we'll take another carnation and that's gonna start to look like a leg. The deeper we go inside there, the more it's gonna look like it's a paw that's holding over the side. So two legs. Now with carnations, the thing I love about them is if it's not quite round, I can go through and just gently fluff out the carnation with my finger. And that gives me a great bigger flower to work with. So then this will be about where those legs start to come together. We'll put one more over here to close that all together. And one more on this side. So that establishes where that one puppy's gonna be. Now we'll have another puppy on the other side. going this direction. Of course, we want that puppy paw to be hanging over the edge of the basket. And the other one over here. So that establishes where the two puppies are gonna go. Now it's time for us to make the head. What I've found is that it's really easy to make the head and shape it in your hands. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fluff my carnations, make sure they're as big and open as they possibly can be. Now, this looks like it's gonna be a great mouth. And then we'll put another one 
behind it. So the mouth's gonna be about right there. Then we've got a couple of sides. So it kind of starts to form the head. So now I've got the shape of a head. Now because these are puppies, they're going to have kind of short little ears. So we're going to put two ears up on either side and pull that center one out just a little bit so it's more like a nose. And our shape starts to look like the head of a dog. Then I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap it around those stems to hold the stems in place so they don't shift around when I go and place it into my arrangement. Now I can cut all those stems at one time and the head of my puppy then goes right down into the arrangement. Now if I need to come back in, and fill in, I can do that if I need to. But we'll have other flowers that are going to go around it later. So again, I like the way too that he's kind of peeking out from underneath the handle. I'll make one more head. also extend the shape back into my arrangement a little bit too so it looks as if the dog's down inside of the basket itself. Now it looks like his body's going back into the arrangement a little bit more. Now that we've established the shape of where those puppies go, let's create the features that are going to go on our puppies. We'll use the chenille stems again and I'm just going to use a little jewelry pliers to create a really tight little circle. Making that little coil allows me to have a great little nose. Now I always use my cold adhesive because I don't like to use hot glue on fresh flowers. So. This cold adhesive is very similar to rubber cement. I'm gonna apply it on the back of this. I'm also gonna apply a little bit on the flowers up here. There's his little nose. And I'm gonna make similar shapes for the eyes. And we'll get those all attached. Making sure you get your eyes in the right place is what gives them the right personality. If you get them too far out to either side or crooked, it's not going to look and give you that image that you want of those cute little puppies. You could also do little bows around their necks or something if you wanted to bring in some ribbon and have there be a little ruffly collar on them because it gives them a little bit of personality. The great thing about a garden basket is that it has a great variety of flowers. So it's almost like the puppies were out in the garden and mixing it up out there. So we're going to use several different types of flowers today, and I tried to be conscious about them being flowers that would be available in the garden. I'll use my delphinium and larkspur first. As line flowers, they'll define the height of the arrangement. Then I'll fill in with my canterbury bells. 
You'll notice that I'm keeping flowers together in groupings as well. That helps give them more focal emphasis. The clematis is perfect because those vines really give it a garden type look. Because my David Austin English Garden Roses are so fragrant and they're so important, they're the focal point and they have the strongest color, I add them last. And I'm tucking them around the puppies so that they really give emphasis to the cute little dogs, which is what everybody's gonna be talking about in this arrangement. So those puppies really make this arrangement exciting. It'd be great for a garden party, or we could use it outside. And because I wanna make sure the flowers last as long as possible, I'm gonna coat them with Chrysler Professional Glory. This is a great product. It's called an anti-transpirant. What it does is it actually seals the face of the flower so that it can't evaporate water as quickly. That's really helpful in the summer sun. It's a fun arrangement and our little puppies are all nestled down inside the garden. It's a great way to create a wonderful garden centerpiece that has something in the middle that everyone will be talking about. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers.